Hi everyone, welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me, where we're looking at the world from a chartist's point of view, using charting tools that you can take and use straight away. And obviously, we're looking at the entire world. We're looking at the Dow Jones in America, the FTSE in Europe, the Shanghai Composite in China. We're looking at the Nikkei as well in Japan, just because a lot is happening there at the moment. Uh, the All Ordinary is down under Australia as well. And the FTSE, of course, if I didn't mention that, we're looking at that one as well. Um, guys, let's just jump straight into it, um, because the first one we'll look at, obviously, is the All Ordinary. Um, now, basically, this is a daily chart. Every single one of these bars is one day. Now, what has actually happened is GAN has won out here. Now, what that means is um, GAN, uh, WD GAN, was a trader in the in the early to mid 1900s. Um, what he said was the 50% retracement was the strongest level of retra uh, of strongest level of retracement um, on on a market that you could possibly get. What that means for us is we've got the high of the bull market and the low of the bear market here. And the 50% retracement level is at 5,000. Um, now, basically, what's happened is the market has found resistance at that level, and now it's started to fall. Now, apart from that, we've got our long-term uptrend line here. So this would be the last level of support. As you can see, we've got the the very low, and this is the the long-term trend line that has been going since the bottom of our recent bull runs. Um, now that leaves no support left on the trend lines. But as you can see, the price has fallen through that long-term trend line. Um, so all we'd be looking for for um, in the future would be horizontal support and resistance there. Um, that's not something that I personally use that much. I prefer to use the trend lines there. What we've had as well is a little zigzag pattern down. This indicates a short-term sell signal on the All Ordinaries at the moment. Um, and probably our next level of support for the All Ordinaries would be at that 4,650 there, um, which is that horizontal support and resistance. Um, looking at it from an Elliott Wave point of view, we've got one, two, three, four, five waves up, and what we're looking at now is A, B, C correction. So that would potentially bring us here uh, in our A, and then our B, and then our C correction. And so basically that's what we're looking at from an Elliott wave point of view. Uh, I had been expecting an, ex an extended wave, but this little short-term exit signal does not uh, basically uh, negates that. So there's no extended wave on the All Ordinaries. It met its initial targets, um, which uh, which is an excellent thing. And we've got obviously this, um, this short-term exit signal and a potential ABC correction there on, on the All Ordinaries there at the moment. Um, the next one we're looking at is the Dow Jones. Really, really simple stuff as well. The Dow Jones is also starting to turn over. What we've got is it has has met its target from an Elliott Wave point of view as well. One, two, three, four, fifth wave here. Um, it reached around about between 75 and 100% of its um, of the previous move. There we go. Right, actually 100% there, so that's perfect. Uh, and that's potentially what you'd expect a wave five to reach if it was not an extended wave. Um, and again, we're looking like it might be failing as well, this this extended wave, it might not be happening. Um, so again, it's met its initial targets. What we'd be expecting is for the Dow Jones to close below 11,959. Uh, 11, this level here, this would be below the uh, the trend line and below the previous, um, previous trough there. That would be a short-term exit signal on the Dow Jones. Um, and it's very, very close at the moment, but not quite there yet. So um, just keep a very close eye out on that one on the Dow Jones. The next one we're looking at is the FTSE, and the FTSE, um, really simple stuff. What we're seeing here on the FTSE is a broadening wedge pattern. Now, traditionally with broadening wedge patterns, guys, um, one of the uh, highest probability moves for a broadening wedge is um, for the price to shoot below the the broadening wedge pattern there and then shoot well back to the upside. So basically that little V sort of pattern there. As you can see, what we've got on the, on the FTSE as well is if we just draw in our trend line, there we go. So as you can see, it's crossed the uptrend line and it's made a little zigzag pattern down. So what we're seeing now is support at the 5,800 level um, and potentially we could be seeing the market falling to the bottom of this broadening wedge pattern where we'd find support again. Um, so that's potentially what is happening on the, on the FTSE with that broadening wedge pattern there. Next and quickly is the uh, is the Nikkei in um, in Japan. So this is the uh, basically we've got a daily chart here, and as you can see, we've got our uptrend line. Um, this is up to today. As you can see, it's crossed below that uptrend line, and it has made a little zigzag pattern down as well. That is a short-term exit signal on the Nikkei in Japan, um, and the market obviously is reacting to um, to what's happening there at the moment. So it is in a short-term exit signal at the moment, or a short-term downtrend. Next level of support is at 10,200 exactly, um, and beyond that, um, we've basically got quite a, a room for quite a amount of falls um, until about 9,700. So potentially, um, we could be seeing that on the Nikkei. 
Now, last but not least is the Shanghai Composite. Shanghai Composite, as we were saying, is um, we called our, our short-term uptrend and it's still continuing on the Shanghai Composite in China at the moment. Uh, so really, really simple stuff. Uh, what we'll be looking for on the Shanghai is a little zigzag pattern down. It has closed below its, um, its uptrend line, so that indicates that a trend change is, is looming. Um, what we'll be looking for is a little short-term uh, zigzag pattern down to confirm it. That would confirm that there are more sellers than buyers coming back into the market in China um, on the Shanghai Composite. Uh, what we've also got on the Shanghai Composite is the medium term downtrend is still intact. So as you can see, it didn't reach it there at all. And that has continued to provide resistance um, for the Shanghai Composite as well. So that's what we're looking out for on the Shanghai for a short term exit signal would be that, um, that little downtrend uh, or that little zigzag pattern down. At the moment, it still remains in a confirmed short term uptrend. So that is the markets from a charter's point of view, guys. A whole bunch of tools there that you can take and use straight away. I hope that has helped in some small way. Um, apart from that, I will see you next week, guys, for more charting tools and for another look at the world from a charter's point of view. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.